Hey guys, it's Sean from the blog, SusanRElement.com, and today I want to share with you my easy, simple summer table decorations. So on one of my recent thrifting trips to that amazing antique store in the center of our town, I actually found this toolbox and the minute that I saw it I knew I had to have it and I knew exactly what I wanted it for. Now I love the fact that it has the five separate compartments in here and there's a multitude of things you can do with this. You could put mason jars in there and have fresh flowers. You can section it off for a party and put cutlery and napkins, serving utensils, things of that nature, which this very well could be used for, for one of our parties that we throw during the summertime. Who am I kidding? We throw them all year long. Um, but my idea was for this to go on my table and just rock some real beautiful silk flowers. Now, Michael's is actually having a sale right now, 60% off their spring florals. Florals are floral to me. I mean, spring, summer, winter, fall, they're all florals. But I will take that 60% off quite happily. So I stopped there and I was able to actually get some really super cute florals. I got a hydrangea bunch, normally $16.99, um, but 60% off. And I really like this because they're individual stems and I can actually cut them off. I also found these super sweet um, bunches of white flowers. Again, I can take them apart and snip them off. These were $12.99, 60% off. And lastly, I just grabbed some of these, which remind me of the Victorian lace flowers that we have in our yard. Again, they're on a stem with a bunch. I can snip them off. And this one was $4.99, 60% off. So I'm going to use those and I'm actually just gonna add a little bit of florals to my dining room table. And it doesn't get much easier than this, let me tell you. First things first, I just wanna take my wire snips and Snip these off. That's done. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the white flowers that we have here. I'm just going to snip them as well. And I'm snipping them close to the base right now, um, but I might be adjusting those as they go in. For right now though, I just wanna get them unattached. Discard the stem, don't need it, easy peasy individual flowers. We'll take the stickers off after. Same thing with this one. And lastly, we're going to also separate this one. Now the easiest way I find to remove these tags is to cut it right against that stem and 
pull it apart. Off. Same thing here. Cut it as close to the stem as possible. Peel it off. one more. This one is actually so loose I can just go right up inside of it. Remove it. And now we're ready to put these flowers inside that container and make it a beautiful centerpiece. All right, I am going to see what the height is like to these. Like I said, we'll probably take some off, which I'm going to do. For better fit and they can flop forward or over I just don't want them up here and I want them all different heights nature is in a straight line and nothing I'm creating should be a straight line. Take a little bit of this off. <clears throat> I actually think I'm going to trim this one down just a little bit more. So now I was able to get one hydrangea in each. To that, we're just going to add our white flowers, trim them down as we go. I do want some to poke out, but not all of them. like that. Now, put another one in there. them right in there. Now, the ones that have green leaves on them that I snipped off, I'm actually going to trim those wires back so it just leaves the leaves. And I am going to tuck those in and around and I'm doing it in the center position because that's the only one that was not provided with one of the Victorian lace flowers so we're just filling it with a little more green just like that 
and it's done. How beautiful yet simple is that? I absolutely love it. I love the colors. I love the look. And I have to say, those hydrangeas look like real dried out hydrangeas. Now, the way I see it is if you're going to use a fake silk flower, you need to have a high quality silk flower, one that doesn't necessarily look like it's fake. And I have to say, I am super happy with all of these. You could even take some out if you think this was too much, but for me, more is more. It's always better that way. I love the simplicity of it yet I love the beauty of it. And I love the fact that I will be able to change this out for any season, for anything that I want. I could put some lights going through there and hide the little battery boxes inside. That could be super pretty for an evening dinner party, a romantic dinner with your significant other, or just to give it a little more oomph. And I have a ton of those battery pack lights in all different colors and shapes and sizes. And that might be something that I'm actually going to do. I love this. Love, love, love it. Now, if you can't find one of these, it actually would be very, very simple to make. You could draw out the pattern, put it together. I could build one of these, super easy but I happened to find one for, I think it was $17, and I just love it. This is exactly what my dining room table needed for a new summer focal point. So pretty. Well, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead today, as I just showed you this quick and easy, simple table centerpiece idea. You can do it with any type of an old two box. If you can't find an old two box, you could very easily make this to a pattern that you could draw off quite simply. Um, if I didn't have this, I would probably do that. But I was lucky enough to find one and you never know when you can find something. As soon as I saw it, I knew exactly what it was going to be and I knew where it was going. I hope this has inspired you to try a new table centerpiece for your house for summer. You could even dress up a very small table in your living room. A little conversation table that you could find between two chairs. It could be anything. But bringing little touches of summer mixed in with some great finds is always a way to make your home have that collected, unintentional look. Well, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead today as I just showed you this quick and easy, simple table centerpiece idea. You can do it with any type of an old two box. If you can't find an old two box, you could very easily make this to a pattern that you could draw off quite simply. Um, if I didn't have this, I would probably do that. But I was lucky enough to find one and you never know when you can find something. As soon as I saw it, I knew exactly what it was going to be and I knew where it was going. Thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. If you're new to my channel, you might want to consider hitting that subscribe button. I make new videos every single week and you never know what they're going to be about. It could be a scratch recipe I want to share with you, a DIY project that's easy enough to replicate, or creating my handmade home one day at a time. Thanks so much for stopping by the homestead and I'll see you guys real soon. So pretty.